sweetest subjects. But sweeter none the voice of faithful friend, sweet always, sweetest heard in loudest storm of troubled seas. Some I remember and will never forget, and of these stands the lovely Alina Wolfston, she who serves with a faith born <coughs> not of words but of deeds. I have more. Yes, but let's let her get up here yeah. so she can hear <laughs> Alina Wolfston, please approach their majesties. is to manage ourselves well and to manage others who wish to serve. In order to do so gracefully and effectively, one must possess some unique human endowments. The first of which is to be proactive and self-aware. Alina is response-able. She has the ability to choose her response in any situation in a measured and deliberate manner. Next is imagination and conscience. Alina begins with the end in mind in every project. While memory ties you to the past, imagination points you to the future, which is what we need in our society to continue to grow and evolve. Alina actualizes her capabilities no matter the conditions, in times of plenty and in times of strife. And when serving the crown, many times there have been some stressful situations behind the thrones, <laughs> but Alina serves well and is very patient and kind and a calm force so that the crown may do the work of the kingdom. Then comes volition or willpower. Alina puts first things first. She focus heavily, focuses heavily on the highly important while mindful to get back to the other task as time allows. Alina has an abundance mentality. She thinks win-win. She realizes there is profit, power, and recognition enough for everyone. We speak of courage and conscience. Alina seeks to understand, then to be understood. Great is her consideration. She truly listens so that others may feel valued and have their ideas shared. Which not to be gotten, which not to be forgotten, brings to mind creativity. <coughs> Alina synergizes with others, seeking alternatives. She has great loyalty to those she serves and with whom she is friends. Not to be ne neglected, last is self renewal. Alina has the wisdom to seek for herself continuous self improvement and the ability to pace oneself so as not to be drained of energy so she better is able to serve and share. Your Majesty's Alina's circle of influence <coughs> is broad in your kingdom. She has no need for control nor conflict, for she possesses self-control and self-worth. This makes a great peer. 
which makes on tier greater still. Is there another? I'm Alina Foxton. I am happy to say that Alina has been serving our kingdom for over 25 years in various different capacities. One of the capacities that she's been the best and is one of the most daunting tasks for the kingdom is as our waiver secretary. As a former seneschal, I'd like to say that everything was always done and turned in on time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it happened, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I would get emails six months after an event from Alina, and bless her heart, she has the kindest, most gentlest way of saying, you, saying to you, oh, you didn't turn in those waivers again? <laughs> <laughs> she has a demeanor about her that she, it makes you just want to run. You just want to run, get your car, go get those waivers for her and get them to her right away. She, wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say on that one. I, you are awesome. <laughs> she has been teaching how to make banners for many, many, many years. What a few of you might not know, they did not get put up today, but she has made a lot of the banners for the kingdom. Also, for Sport of Kings, she started out with only making four banners was what she committed to. For the very first Sport of Kings, she made over 24 banners by herself, as far as I know, that helped with the ambiance of the event. She has always been there behind the scenes when anybody needed her for anything. She's been there as a court coordinator. She's been there as a list mistress. She is just always there and has always inspired everybody. Is there another speaker? I'm trying to do that with a book. I'm Bridget Ross, companion of the Order of the Pelican and Seneschal Volunteer. And I'm privileged to have been a friend of Lena's for many years. A wise person once told me that if we are lucky, we will run into someone who is a peer. You know they are a peer. Everything about them says they are a peer. And Lena Wolfston is that peer. Of this, there is little doubt. Her 20 plus years of quiet service to local branches and the kingdom show that her service is not one dimensional, but she is a constant servant, diverse and long lasting. However, the thing that sets Alina above merely being a hard worker, <coughs> and really above many people, is that she is one of those rare individuals that leads by inspiration. She inspires others in the way she carries herself, how she camps, and how she deals with those around her. She inspires by her generosity, using her talents and giving of her time to make our dream more beautiful. She inspires by the quiet, faithful. Sorry, she inspires by her. Uh, Try not to cry. She inspires by her quiet, faithful devotion to Ontier and the SCA. And in turn, she makes our kingdom stronger <coughs> and our society a brighter and more beautiful place. <coughs> Desire that Alina be admitted to this order? It is. <laughs> Are you sworn in fealty to another? Alina, well pleased. Alina, well pleased with your continued efforts. With your continued efforts and diligence. And diligence. Service to our kingdom. Service to our kingdom. And right mindful of wishes of your peers. And right mindful of the wishes of your peers. We are minded to create you a pelican. We are minded to create you a pelican. Will you accept from us this honor? Will you accept from us this honor? And to uphold the rights and responsibilities of the order. I swear to uphold the rights and responsibilities of the order. Then will you, <laughs> Alina, give your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set for the governance of this order as you most surely have until now, to increase your labors nobly, to nourish your talents as befits a noble, and to seek to disseminate your talents and abilities world as far as within your powers. Is there a medallion? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma
This medallion was commissioned by her husband, and it is the pelican symbol of placed on Elena's office. Let it be known that on this day, Alina Wolfston has been admitted to the right noble order of the Pelican and will be known as a peer of the Kingdom of Ontier. Would you now swear your fealty to the crown? Upon which symbol of state would you swear your fealty? I, Alina Wolfston, a companion of the Order of the Pelican, and a peer of the Kingdom of Ontier, do become your liege man of life, limb and earthly worship. Faith and truth will I bear unto you, to live and die against all manner of folks. We for our part do you hear these words and accept them. We swear to defend you and your household against all who do you harm. Know that you are under the protection of the sable lion. So say we, Ulfur, King. So say we, Kiva, Queen. Arise. Arise. We go with your spirit. <laughs> 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 While she's hugging up, thereby she shall do the thing that shall tend to her actions and sureties, <laughs> willing and commanding all of all estates, degrees, and conditions to see our peace kept and to be a